Ola Badmos TV. Entertainment without power. We are 
negotiation with the police it's more like a one-on-one -on -one. we just we just finished talking to them of course it's a it's a peaceful one peaceful in the sense that we didn't come here to fight we came unharmed and as a matter of fact what we are asking for is for the, we're even fighting for the police as well because part of the agenda includes total reformation increase in salary and what have you so right now this is all peaceful we know that this is beyond the people that we met, but we've been given a promise that our messages will be conveyed to those in authority. Oh, this is our country. Oh. We got to fight for each other. Go, go. This is our nation. No, oh. we got to fight for each other. Go, go. See my brother, man, they don't kill him. Oh, yeah. See my sister, man, they don't kill him. Oh, wait till me a offense. Oh. Me and Ovi sleep every night and day. Me and Ovi sleep every night and it's your boy, JD boy, on Instagram. Um, police brutality. Yes. Our voice must be heard. Yes. yes. Whether president don't talk, oh. IG don't talk, oh. See, you must loud them. You go loud them. I see, eh? And my word is this, eh? In 2023, eh? Nobody. Anybody who has seen Nigeria is not going to contest. We are fighting for our lives, people. This is a very pivotal moment in Nigerian history. This has never happened before. People have never come together in unison and have nationwide protests because we are fighting for our lives. We are fighting for our lives. We don't have any other time to fight, but now, but now, so we are peacefully marching. We are peacefully marching. And by so this is not a matter of criminals increasing or decreasing. We want the police to be reformed. So the police can effectively battle criminals without necessarily torturing the civilians. Do you get my point? So if they, if they say, if SAS leaves, uh, the criminals will reduce. I want to ask you one question. When one million boys were operating during the lockdown, how many of the SAS operatives went there to, to, calm, to calm the situations down? The, the, the citizens themselves have, have become vigilante. We are the ones that are vigilante. So how can you bring the argument that criminals will... So, so it means that the police is not even capable in the first place. So it is their job. It is their job to combat criminals. There cannot be an argument that, that if, if they disband SARS. Okay, why did they now dissolve the SARS? They dissolved it, but they are still shooting. They dissolve it, but police are still, are, are still enforcing brutality on citizens. It's more than that. It's, it's a lot more than that. We want the police reform. We want the police to be. We are fighting for them. In fact, if it left to me, I want the police to come out and we protest together. Everybody should protest because things are not normal in this country. Things are not normal. We stop acting like things are normal yeah. and sitting at home. At least, uh, is, is it no, uh, uh, are we normal? We are not normal, my brother. May they end them the way we want. As I go out, you don't be sure for me to reach out. You say you put them together. And you don't want them to keep... Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? It has just begun. We just started. We just started. We just started. We just started. We've given you our demands. 
We've given our demands. When you meet up the demands, then we'll move to the next one. But not now. But we just started. Just know that we, we have a voice now. We are not criminals. We are not criminals. We are not criminals. No, they call us criminals. Answers now. Answers now. You are not blind. You are not crippled. You are not disabled. You don't have any excuse not to be here today. We are fighting for our rights. We are fighting for our future. We are fighting for the right to be free. We are fighting for the right to be safe. We are not asking for much. We are only telling our government to protect us. We are only telling them to do their job. They are supposed to serve us. We are not supposed to be scared in our land. We are not supposed to be scared in our land. We are children. We are not slaves. We are not supposed to be treated like second-class citizens. Thank you. Today, we are definitely ending that SARS. They are giving us, you know, 2017 they ended it, 2018 they ended it. But on a scam, what we want is the official ending of SARS. We don't want SARS. We don't want SARS. They are killing us, they are killing our fucking dreams. And protest. Now, guess we come out today, we will give our last 2K. You don't hear me? SARS is the new COVID-19, and all of us know. Fish. And I guess we come out today, we'll give our last wedding to Tupa. Government or whoever that is in charge, that they need to reform, please. They need to start paying them well, and they need to reform them. We need reformation because we're not happy with the way things are going. A lot of things are wrong in this country. Bad road, bad education, no medical sector, like very bad medical sector. So we're done. It's high time they stood up and start doing things right. So this is about safe. You and I know that the function of police in this country is to maintain law and order and arrest criminals. But the moment the police is not turning to criminal, oh wrong now. The moment something loses its purpose, you have to scrap it. So go and retrain the Nigerian police, increase their welfare, and stop killing the youth of this country. We are the future, we are the dream. Without us, there's no Nigeria tomorrow. Enola Badmos TV Entertainment with our